If you're faced with something like this, the infamous status 7 error while trying to install a custom ROM on your Android device, there might be a way to solve that problem. I feel paralyzed. Hi guys, it's Techius with a quick video on how to, to solve this status 7 error. First of all, what is this error? Well, this error is actually a result of a safety feature that exists uh, on these custom recoveries and uh, the ROMs uh, because it prevents you installing incompatible ROMs into your device. This is a very good safety feature, believe it or not. If this feature did not exist, you will be installing a custom ROM that is meant for a different device. If you do install an incompatible ROM on your device, it could basically break your mobile. But it does not work as perfectly always. So even if you are using the correct ROM that's meant for the correct device, this error could somehow pop out for some reason. So what I'm going to show you is that how you can sort of get around this by just modifying the ROM that you need to install, you know, slightly. So in this case, I have just downloaded the CM14.1 that is for the LG G3 D855. So, uh, I'm just going to show you how to fix the status 7 error uh, with this modification. Go ahead and the first thing you need to do is that you need to extract this. I'm using 7zip over here. Extract this into a folder. All right, once that's done, you can go ahead and open this folder and it will contain all the files that is in your ROM. And now just uh, follow my instructions carefully. Okay, so once you have this opened up, go to meta in and then click on com. Go to Google and Android and then you're going to see two files. One is update binary and the, one, and the other one is update script. Go ahead and open update script and then you are given the choice to choose the program you could open up it i highly recommend that you install this software over here the notepad plus plus you could even edit this uh, script using notepad but it's going to be a nightmare to find the correct code so install this software i'll leave the link in the description notepad plus plus and then open that using the notepad plus plus and you can see the codings over here if you open this up with a standard notepad, these codes will be like all over the place. So it's going to be very difficult to differentiate. So you're going to focus on these lines, you know, the ones that begin with assert and then you go on the code. And all you need to do is select the assert codes. It will look something similar on other ROMs as well. So all you need to, you know, go through the coding and look for the asset. So it's going to be very easy if you're using a program like this. Go ahead and select those first two lines or it could be a couple of lines depending on the ROM or the device that you're using and, and delete that. So once you're left with it, the uh, UI and print and blah 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 and the rest goes on. And once you have deleted that, you can go ahead and select save. Alright, uh, the update script is now updated and go back to the main folder where all the files are there and select everything. Go ahead and right click and then you can just add them to a zip. Compress and add them to a zip. Alright, so once the compression is done, you can use this zip folder that you just created and carry on with your installation. I've already made a video on how to install CyanogenMod on your device while well, using an LG G3. The same method applies to all other ROMs if you're using a TWRP as your recovery, custom recovery. That is it guys, so it's just quick and short video on how to fix this uh, small issue that's been troubling so many users who are interested in installing custom ROM. But I do have to warn you, I cannot stress on how important it is that you choose the correct ROM for your device, otherwise this will definitely break it. So 
be careful with that choosing the correct rom and enjoy your new custom rom if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you want to see more awesome content you can subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more and as always peace